Bears Nation still feels we have some gaps to fill in on the overall defensive line. In defensive tackle, we currently only have three players at the moment, that being Andrew Billings, Trevon Dexter Sr., and Zach Pickens. We have two guys that are proven. Andrew Billings had a great overall year last year. Javon Dexter Sr. heated up in the second half. Could be a huge problem. And Zach Pickens, a lot of untapped potential. You bring in Eric Washington as our new defensive coordinator, and he is known for developing defensive lines. So hopefully he unlocks Zach Pickens and makes Javon Dexter Sr. an even better defensive tackle. And we also have a lot of undrafted rookie free agents on the roster currently at the moment. But honestly, I see most of them going to the practice squad most likely there's always that one guy that ends up making it but they'll go to the practice squad they'll learn over the next couple of you know seasons maybe hopefully next year they'll get their opportunity but the bears do have a good farm system of defensive linemen but they could use one more because after they sign Caleb Williams and Roma Dunze they're gonna have about six and a half million dollars in cap absolutely finalize their contracts so Let's see who is out there from a defensive tackle perspective that is in free agency that'll help boost this roster even more. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago Bears. My name is Nick Rohde, and as always, thank you for tuning in and hope you guys have some great weekend plans ahead. Today, I am going over a veteran defensive lineman who could have a big impact on this team right away, and that's Hassan Ridgeway, a big defensive lineman who has worked in Matt Eberflus' system before that, and also helped the San Francisco 49ers get to the Super Bowl a few years back in 2022. Is coming off a down year in 2023 with the Texans, so he is a low-risk, high-reward kind of player who could compete for the rotation of the defensive line in 24-25. And before we begin today's show, if you're just ready for Chicago Bears football to be back, which is less than a month away. Training camp's coming up in July 9th. Tickets drop. Make sure to smash that like button on the video to show your support, along with commenting bear down in the comment section below. So let's talk about Hassan Ridgeway. A 29-year-old will be 30 at the beginning of next season. Defensive lineman who last year played for the Houston Texans. Stands at 6'3", 305 pounds. Not a small man at all and is built pretty darn well for his frame. He has played for the Colts, the Eagles, the Texans, and the 49ers over his eight-year NFL. NFL career. And uh, that means that guess who he worked with? Matt Eberflus, knowing this defense and being able to come in and be an instant upgrade and also help these guys get even more familiar with the defensive scheme if they're not already. He's a lot like Andrew Billings in a lot of ways, but he's a little bit taller, but the way he plays and his strength and the fight in him is just there. And I want him to absolutely become a Chicago Bear because of the mere fact that this guy is just a big dude. He's a run snapper, stopper. He's downright nasty in the trenches. He's a huge dude up the middle. And he's going to make offenses have to work around him versus he has to work a little bit harder to stop the offense. And I like his experience, too. He He's just a good veteran to have on this team. Clearly went to the Super Bowl, worked at Bat Eberflus, played for a good Eagles defense a few years back as well. He brings a lot to the table. He's a rotation guy, too. He's never been a big-time starter for any team. So he knows his job, knows what he has to do, and knows his place, and I think that's big for this roster. So eight years in the pros will probably have you some solid stats, right? Well, clearly people keep signing you because you're doing your job, right? But over his career in the NFL, in eight seasons, he's played in 80 games, starting only 20 of them with 114 total tackles, 57 of them being solo, 10 and a half sacks, 16 tackles for loss in 24 quarterback hits. For not being a starter or being a starter only a quarter of the time, I mean, shoot, that's not bad at all. And being a defensive lineman, especially an interior one, you're not going to get those big stats like an edge would get or a different type of defensive scheme. Those are big stats for a guy like him, especially in the schemes that he plays in. And in 2022, so only two seasons ago, he had a career year with the Niners when he went to the Super Bowl, played in 12 games, had 28 total tackles, one and a half sacks out of his 10 and a half over his eight-year career, three tackles for loss, and four quarterback hits. I could see why the Texans went and picked him up. They picked him up for a one-year $3.25 million contract, and honestly, I would do that with him as well. I mean, even cheaper, probably. I mean, we signed Billings to $2.5 million, so we probably could get him cheaper. But that's exactly what we need. And also, again, we have Eric Washington, who can develop this guy into a monster. I mean, he already is 30 years old. Sometimes you can't teach a new do old dog new tricks. But Eric Washington can make opportunities for him because of the defensive guru line guru that he is. Also, the reason why I didn't bring up 2023, because he was hurt most of it, only played in three games, had five tackles, nothing too crazy. But again... Low risk, high reward kind of move. And we could bring him in and we still don't have to put him on the 53-man roster. His contract cap hit doesn't happen until he's 
officially there, or they can make the contract like that. So low risk, high reward. Why not? Said it before. I'll say it again. This guy's a monster up the middle. You can't get by him and he creates a ton of pressure up the middle that causes running to the outside. When we have athletic linebackers and edges like we do, it's going to make it very difficult for anyone to run against this team. Not only that, he has really good vision on the ball. That's why when he does go up the middle or he's able to call out different plays, he's beneficial to the defense in that way as well. I mean, overall, I think that having another Andrew Billings can't hurt. Anyway, I think it'd be kind of cool if they had like a pairing of Billings and Javon Dexter Sr. as the starters, and you had Pickens and Ridgeway as your second string guys and constantly rotating them in and out. But also, you put Billings and you put Ridgeway next to each other, there is no way any guards and center are going to be able to stop those two because they're big, they're fast, they're athletic, and that is exactly what Ryan Poles wants and this defense could absolutely use. But he's not a starter. He knows he's not a starter. He's not going to act like a starter. He's just going to bring the good vibes. He's going to know his role. He's going to be a second string guy, and that's all that we need. Overall, I just want Ryan Poles to do something. Like seriously, just do something, pick up a free agent, do something to get this roster moving and get the, the blood flowing a little bit more. I mean, overall, I think that Poles has done a fantastic job. He still does have to sign those two guys, which he will. Like there's no doubt about it. We have the money to do it, but I think he's trying to see, you know, maybe Connor Williams in free agency or Ridgeway or something along the, someone along those lines. So could be good for the Chicago bears. Bringing in a guy like him, it brings a veteran leadership. You help develop other guys. It's a one-year rental potentially, and you go from there. And you can re-sign him if you want, like they did with Billings at the end of last season. They knew that he was he outperformed his contract for sure. They re-signed him. They wanted to keep him. And Justin Jones went elsewhere and got the absolute bag from the Arizona Cardinals. So overall, I'm excited for this. I mean, if Ridgeway does come to the Chicago Bears, welcome. I'll do a breakdown video with that. But as always, thank you for always tuning in to Just Another Year Chicago Bears. Please hit that like button if you haven't already. Comment Bear Down in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But with that, thank you as always for tuning in and Bear Down, baby.